Galaxy A users, your wait for One UI 8 is almost over. Here's when your phone will get it. Samsung has officially confirmed the One UI 8 rollout begins in September, starting with the Galaxy S25 lineup. While the company hasn't revealed the exact release date, a newly leaked schedule hints that updates could start as early as September 18, spreading across the following weeks. The good news? Many Galaxy A models are included in this rollout, from the latest devices like the Galaxy A56 and A36 to slightly older models. Here's when each Galaxy A series phone is expected to receive one UI 8. Expected one UI 8 rollout for Galaxy A phones. Galaxy A56 5G, September 25. Galaxy A36 5G, September 25. Galaxy A55 5G, October 6. Galaxy A54 5G, October 13. Galaxy A52 S 5G, October 13. Galaxy A35 5G, October 30. Galaxy A34 5G, October 30. Galaxy A33 5G, October 30. Galaxy A26 5G, October 2. Galaxy A25 5G, October 16. Galaxy A23 5G, October 16. Galaxy A17 5G, October 2. Galaxy A16 5G, October 2. Galaxy A15 5G, October 20. Galaxy A06, October 23. If you own a Galaxy A56 or A36, you're among the lucky ones. Your devices could receive one UI 8 before September ends. This timeline is based on leaks, a cross-checks suggest accuracy. Although the roadmap mainly refers to the Turkey region, it typically mirrors Europe's release pattern. That means updates will arrive slightly later than Korea but earlier than regions like the US and Canada. Samsung just removed a key secure folder feature in One UI 8 and users aren't happy. One of the big changes is a redesigned secure folder app with a smoother interface and better performance. But quietly, one major option has been removed, leaving many users frustrated. Previously, the secure folder's auto-lock settings offered six choices for automatically locking the folder. These included, each time I leave an app, when the screen turns off, after five minutes, after 10 minutes, after 30 minutes, when phone restarts. With One UI 8, the each time I leave an app option has disappeared with the courtesy of Tara and Vats. This setting was highly valued by users because it locked the folder instantly after leaving a protected app, ensuring maximum security. Now without this option, users have to either manually lock secure folder or depend on time-based or restart-based settings. This change has sparked concerns about security. Users remain hopeful that the missing option might return with an upcoming patch. Stay tuned for any further updates. That's all for today, but what are your thoughts? Share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.